we are gonna be doing his beard. Yes. With coils by nature. Yes. We're serious about this. This is not for show. We are like gonna go hard, right, babe? Hard for the black owned businesses. And we've been using coils by nature for a minute. And I actually really like the brand, so I'm not just using it just because it's black owned. Like I really use it, and I'm getting my uh, beard done tomorrow. So you gotta wash it and take care of it before you. You can't just, like, dudes be having long beards, they don't never wash them, it be stinking. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, come on. I'll show you uh, my my regimen, what I use before I actually go to the barbershop. So this is everything I do before I go to the barbershop to get it chopped up. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this towel on you, babe. So I'm just going to saturate his beard. Tutorials are always more confusing than real life. Girl, don't be rubbing on my beard. <laughs> Turn this video into something, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> poo is basically just if you put like an oil or a conditioner on your hair first before going in with any type of shampoo. Just so the shampoo won't strip the hair or make it like more, basically more strip me like real like stringy and mm -hmm. straw like. Because we want it to stay soft, you know? Mm -hmm. But Coils by Nature, their products are so good that you don't really need to have a pre-poo. Because they already have those amazing oils infused in their products. This is the Beard and Face Cleanser and Shaving Foam. So I like this product because it's three in one. Yeah, and I've like, been see? using it. I've been using it every time I, uh, before right. I go to the barbershop and all that. I've, I'll make sure I use that for my face and my uh, beard. And as you can see, he has been using it. But we had this stuff for a long time. And that's a good thing because you really have been using it. But mm -hmm. we still have a lot of product left. Yeah, I don't even see this. Oh, yeah. 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 How many pumps do you usually do, babe? All right, so three or four pumps. And it already is lathered for you. It's like a mousse but shampoo at the same time. So I'm just going to. You gotta get it all in there. Right. It's important to get to the to like the root. Like don't just put it on the the end of your hair. But I got y'all natural. Babe, hair. that you is know that. yes. But you know what? A lot of naturalists don't know that. So I was really impressed you said that, yo. This is not. We're not. This isn't like a planned type of video. So him saying that, I'm like amazed right now. Cause that is the one thing naturalistas forget is that the shampoo is best for the the scalp. Mm -hmm. Um, cause that's where you <laughs> baby look like you about to fall asleep. Does it really, babe? Mm -hmm. Aww. All right. So yeah. So I'm just really. Trying to feel every strand in his beard and making sure I'm getting, like he said, at the skin, at the root. Because what when you have beards like this, and I don't know about I don't know about white dudes' beards, um, but uh, black men we get ingrown hairs, and uh, that's a good way to feel for any ingrown hairs that you need to take out. And you guys. This is so soothing to me and obviously to Devin too because <laughs> I don't know, it's something you know how we always say we have hair, um, hands in hair syndrome, like our own heads. This gives me so much satisfaction because it's like I'm just playing in my own head because it feels similar to my natural hair. His beard is more um, rough. But it's what you trying to say? What, babe? It is it's rough. It is, it before is. you wash it, it's like it gets really dry and rough. But oh my god, it's, it's so soothing. And shout out to the district beardsman. All this, you know, beard care has made me think of that that shoot. Oh yeah, that was and, so nice. That was shout out to Lab and, and Beardo Black and everybody. Be right. Can I have some? But um, yeah, I wish I, I hope I can find some of the um, footage from that because that was a cool shoot. Mm -hmm. So we take this beard stuff like seriously. I'll insert some of the um, the photos at least of mm -hmm. that shoot. Devin, does it still feel good for you? Yes. You think it's clean now? Mm -hmm. 
it was clean before you started doing it. Ooh. <laughs> uh, some of the ingredients in this, and I, I, the way it smells, I love the smell. So here's some of the ingredients. Uh, distilled water, aloe leaf juice, vitamin E, marshmallow root, grapeseed oil, uh, tea tree leaf oil, vitamin E. It's good, it's good for, for growth and I can feel it getting this little tingles on. I didn't put it on my face. I didn't put it on my face, but when I'm in the shower, I put it on my face as well. And um, I guess it exfoliates. Is that, is that a word? Is that a real word? Exfoliates? Yeah. Your beard looks so good. I know. Oh! <laughs> looks so cute. So what? I, so I, why are you trying to ignore me? Your no, eyes. I love your eyes. So I look like that. Uh, so since it's all like white right now, I look like that uh, grandpa dude. <laughs> shout Still out your grandma. Shout out, Mister Still your grandpa. Yeah. Is that what it is, or is it grandma? Grandma. Yeah. Mr. Still your grandma. <laughs> shout out that dude. He, he was at Essence. <laughs> Babe, no, seriously, stop trying to ignore me. What are you talking Stay about? Stay right there. Your eyes look amazing. So do you. I I'm trying to see what's under there. <laughs> Stop it, Devin. I'm editing that uh, out. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go wash this out. I'm about to do my Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How to drink her. I told y'all know. I'm not a drinker. He's not. So she, she going to ask me if I want some crown. What? I just thought it would be more manly if you had crown. I don't know. Give me some lemonade. I want lemonade. <laughs> that right. man, le lemonade's manly, isn't it? <laughs> With equal in it? Nah, that's not manly. I don't care. So I like it. Alright, so next we are going to be using... This is the moisturizer. After you wash out the shaving foam, you put in the moisturizer. Yeah, I don't need that much. Somebody said in one of the videos, that's why your back be hurting because you got bad posture. You do. <laughs> I can't help it. I told him to sit up like 50 times already. If I get up every morning to do this for you, I would. Because it's so satisfying. Is it? It is. Taylor Sky are staring at us, y'all. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we're gonna be adding. This is the beard butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is like a, a cream color. Cream, cream color. Yes. Beard butter. I love it. I love the smell of both of these too. I love the smell of the whole collection. Mm -hmm. It's like a I need open it back for me, man. It's like a, a, to me it's like baby powder. Again, a little, rub it in your hands. And again, try to get it right on the, the root area, the skin. But of course you do want to soften up the um, hair as well. Don't forget this part. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. For uh, guys that struggle with hair bumps, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do for that. So make sure you keep the um, ingrown hairs out of there. Um, I take Devin's ingrown hairs out too and he likes it. And you have to um, make sure you like, proper, properly clean your clippers and all that. Don't be letting people use dirty clippers on your neck. That's how you because my skin is real sensitive when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, luckily, I don't have a lot of uh, facial issues with you that. You don't. But, but yeah, really. as far as my uh, my neck and the ingrown hairs and all that, like I definitely inherited my dad's skin when it comes to that uh, sensitivity. Don't forget that. the mustache, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, last step. The oil. This is the beard oil. The, this is what's gonna keep it nice and moisturize, make, you know, bling bling it out. <laughs> um, so all my naturalistas know that 
oil is the last step because it seals and locks in the moisture. The main ingredient in this product is Jamaican black castor oil, which that helps the beard or hair in general grow. It helps it thicken. And I, I'm, we being real, I right. got patches over here. Like in this part don't really grow like that and over on this part. So the rest of it grows out, but in, the, in those areas and where it comes from, fellas constantly picking with it or messing with it. Which I'm that's guilty. what he does. I'm guilty of both of that. And it comes from also picking your beard while, while it's dry, like super dry. So you don't want to do that. Babe, I'm oh. so proud of you. This is all step. I mean, these are, I'll put your head over. This is everything that I say in my hair tutorials. Um, you can't, can't detangle your hair while it's dry. Like it has to be moisturized before you start, you know. And it might sound crazy, but I um, I blow dry mine out too. You gotta blow dry it out. But you have to be careful with that too because that can cause dryness and breakage. Like and you don't gotta pick it real hard. You don't gotta pull out. Thanks for watching the beard video. Fellas, I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm giving y'all something. I don't care if you got a little beard, a big beard, a little, you know what I mean, splotchy beard. You know, we, we, we all we all connecting in some kind of way. So thanks for checking out the videos. Keep watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'm out.